Welcome to Introduction to Computer Music Creation. I'll be your guide throughout this course, Brian Bowman, and in this first video, we're going to talk about the Sormena project and specifically talk a little bit about this course. In this course, we're gonna be using a free web browser-based application called Soundation. And right off the bat, if you're coming here and you've just bought a digital audio workstation like Pro Tools or Logic or Ableton Live, I want you to realize that the stuff that we are covering here in this course is very relevant and very applicable to the digital audio workstation that you may have just purchased. And in a lot of ways, getting your feet wet with something like Soundation will make the transition into one of those other programs a heck of a lot simpler. We have a lot of goals and missions that we want to accomplish and achieve here at Sormena, uh, and you can read about them on the website. But for this video, I wanted to break it down into just a couple of simple bullet points. The first is we want to give people a logical and simple gateway slash pathway into making computer music. Things have evolved quite a bit from the first digital audio workstation to where we are now. And I think if you're brand new to making music, it's very daunting because these programs assume that you've kind of been going along from the beginning. And reality is a lot different from that. If you've never opened up a program before in your life, how do you know where to start? So that's a big part of our website and kind of at a very just even simple pace, adding in new techniques to the point where before you know it, you're like, you have so many different choices and options that the, it just becomes an unlimited amount of creative possibilities. The second thing we want to really accomplish here can, can be summed up in one word, and that word would be community. And I think right now with computer music, you find that people are very judgmental, like really judgmental about everything. Even if somebody has made a really good track, if it's not the genre they like, they'll be very critical of it. And I really kind of want to pull back and pull away from that and get to the basics. We are all making music because we enjoy sound. We enjoy the experience. And I think whether you've been making music for 20 years or for 20 minutes, we all can learn from each other. And that's a huge part of this website. It really is. It's about learning from each other, being open to other styles of music, and just kind of experimenting and seeing what happens. Now, you could be a professional, and I really hope we get some professionals here who have been making music for a long time who can share some of their expertise and help people who might get stuck because you never know when somebody is going to be able to help you out, and you don't know where that's going to come from either. So if you just open up your mind and you open up your ears, I think you'll find that this could be a fantastic website, and I hope that we're able to grow a really strong and active community of people interested in sound as much as I am. Who we are. Right now, it's just two people, myself along with Paul Van Hemmen. And our focus here is to really just make the best experience for you as possible. We want people making music. That's the goal. And that's why we do everything that we do on here. We want you expressing yourself creatively. We want you sharing that with other people and getting that experience. And in the modern world today, it's like every year more and more arts programs get cut at schools and expressing yourself creatively has kind of become like not a cool thing anymore. So hopefully we're able to bring that back. But because we're just two people, we really do need as much support as possible. And right now, the best ways to support this project are through participation, being active, going through the videos, asking questions, inquiring about things. And of course, trying to make your own tracks and sharing them with us here. The other way to really support this project is through exposure. So Paul and I are focused to the content on the website. That is what we are doing. That is what we want to make our main and primary focus. And for that reason, we don't have time to come up with some marketing scheme. And that's where you come in, not so much to make a marketing scheme, but just to share what we're doing with other people if you think what we're doing is a good thing. So that could be through social media, or it could be through word of mouth, or through letters, who knows? There's so many options. So if you enjoy what we're doing and you support it and you want it to continue, it really does require you to be uh, kind of active and try and help us out when and where you think appropriate. 
So about this course specifically, just a couple of things here. And the first one is kind of the big like eye opener. Right now with your computer or your laptop, you have an entire music studio at your fingertips. No exaggeration. What in the past would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, you can now accomplish for under $1,000 if you have a computer that runs relatively fast. And each year, the price of that goes down and the number of people connected to the internet goes up. So while I think that it's becoming more and more difficult for people to afford um, creative hobbies such as painting or filmmaking or photography or ceramics or sculpting, I think that making music is going to be something that we can all do and all share relatively easily across the world. It's really something so amazing and it's uh, something I'm really passionate about. So that's one thing you need to know about this course. The second thing is you're going to learn the basics of pretty much any digital audio workstation. So back to what we mentioned on that very first slide, um, Soundation is just a primer. It's a way to get your feet wet but it's useful for any other program you go into. It makes that transition a lot simpler. And the final thing you'll get out of this course, if you go through it all the way, is you'll be able to make your own piece of music at the end and share it with us and kind of share the experience and let us know how it went and uh, how you decided to express yourself creatively. Who is this course for? It is for absolutely anyone and everyone. There are a lot of like stereotypes about the whole bedroom EDM producer. And I want to kind of strip those back a little bit and realize that this is about sound. This is about manipulating audio to make you feel a particular way. And you don't have to be any age, race, religion, ethnicity to do that. And I hope we get people who are interested in all different types and styles and genres of music and are able to influence other people who are maybe a little bit more close-minded thinking that what they do is really the cool thing. This is a website and this is a course all about just stretching your creative muscles that have maybe laid dormant for a little while. So it doesn't matter if you're 95 years old or if you're 15. I'm hoping that you can get something out of this. What do you need to be successful with this course? Two very simple things. An internet connection. I guess that's really the simple one. And then patience, which can be a little bit harder to come by. There are times, like when you learn any new skill, where it can be kind of frustrating and you might feel like you want to quit. But just put your head down, get through it, because I know you can. I know every single one of you watching this has it in you to make really interesting music. Speaking of making music, the final project for this course is very simple. It's going to be to make a track. And it can be any style of music you want it to be. There's no requirements. It's just make anything you want. If you want to just filter white noise for three and a half minutes and do different things with that, you're absolutely entitled to it. If you want to try to make something more pop style or more EDM style or like a hip hop beat, you're totally entitled to do that as well. There are no rules here. And that's the joy of working with computer music. And finally, what is music? I'm just kind of putting this slide out here now, just kind of a feeler for it. And it's blank for a reason, because right now I'm sure a lot of you define some things as music and, and some things not as music. If you go out into a park and you sit there and just listen for three and a half minutes, is that music? Is that sound? Is that noise? How do you define music? And I hope that by the end of this course and the more time you spend making music, that you uh, broaden your horizons a little bit and you try and experience new things because you never know how much that can help the music that you're trying to make. So without further ado, let's begin.